so guys, we're Dace from San Antonio, Texas. I'm Anthony Siva. I play guitar and I do lead vocals. I'm Mason Macias and I play drums. I'm Ian Macintosh, I play bass and I do background vocals. I play on a mid 80s premiere drum set. I got a 14 inch tom and I got a 16 inch floor tom and a 22 inch bass drum. And I also play on a Ludwig Superphonic snare. And uh, currently I'm playing Heisty um, Ride and I'm also playing a Zildjian Ride but using it as a crash. And I got Bosphorus hi hats. And I usually drum with uh, Promark sticks. And um, my signature thing is always using a single bass, bass drum pedal. Um, I don't usually like to use a uh, double bit pedal at all. I play a Yamaha RBX A2. Um, I run pretty much uh, my sound out of a, a carbon head and I use the sun cab. Um, I like this setup a lot because we play really loud so it definitely accommodates for like loud gigs and stuff. Um, my pedal setup is very minimalistic. Uh, as far as bass goes, like I use like a regular boost pedal, which I don't have on here currently, but I use a tuner, um, you know, for distortion, bass, uh, flanger, and delay. Got a delay. I play out of a 412 uh, old school box cab, oversized. It looks like it has more speakers than it really does. It only has four. Um, I have a PV valve king. I also have my Gibson. Just uh, everything stock. But of course, again, I modified it a little bit, just like painted up the pickup guard and uh, covered up the Gibson sign and uh, the Marzio block strap. And the pedals that I play, I have a M13, I have uh, filters and modulation, tremolo, just basic stuff, but it gets the job done. If people would ask us, um, like, what kind of music are you guys? And maybe about like a year ago, I used to say, I'm not really sure. You should just come to our show and just check us out. Just, just listen, you know. But um, now, like, we can be categorized into like uh, math rock, progressive. Uh, and we're pretty comfortable with that. We're pretty much, like, when we first started out, we weren't really sure. But we knew what we wanted to do, but we weren't really sure where it was going. So, but now... Like we know what's going on, we know what direction we want to take, we know what we want individually from like in each of us. Uh, so that's pretty much like we're, we're, um, we're a math rock band, straight up. When we write music or when we play, I think we kind of have that mentality that a lot of the like the old school, like at least for me, like the old school like death metal bands, like even the, you know, you got that like you want to be the fastest, you want to be the most technical, you want to just like, you want to be the best. Like we're all very competitive and even when it comes to music, like we don't have to play this fast. We don't. We don't have to do a lot of things. But, but we do. it's it's just like in our nature. Like that's what we do. You know, it's we just shred. Like it just comes out. People sit down. And they write a folk song or they sit down. And they write a pop song. But when we sit down, we just shred. You know, it's just it's just natural. You know. We we want people to hear what we love doing. Like this is what this is what we are. Like uh, we've got something to say. But you know, we say it through our you know our music.
and songs. It's always a challenge too, you know. Uh, my biggest challenge is just not running out of breath, I'm trying to keep keep alive, keep it real. I love the music I play. I like challenge, and like every show we play is just so much fun. Because each, each, each night we play is just always different. Like I approach the bass differently, or I try to do more than I did the last night. I just try to challenge myself personally. with these guys is it's amazing. I don't think I've, I've never performed with anyone like this before. We all give like a good amount of energy. Uh, we feed off each other and it's just a lot of fun. I love shredding with these dudes. I love it when the audience gets into it. You know, I, I, a lot of people in the front row were, were getting down and we feed off of that energy and it, and it just makes us go further or push ourselves harder or go faster or get more into the music. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's almost like a workout, you know? It's like mm -hmm. we're out there like running a marathon or something, that's what it feels like. And it's like, it's, just, it's a lot of fun, you know? You can't compare it. And it's true what they say, it's, it's better than anything. Tonight and most nights we play, we always bring the drum set out and uh, every time it's always a different endeavor.
tonight was pretty cool because there is quite a bit of people there to really feel that energy that we're projecting out to them. Um, but San Antonio has always been a treat. Um, a lot of people always, we have a lot of support here and we have support around Texas. We're doing something that no one really in San Antonio is particularly native to, but everyone likes it. Like everyone's digging it. Uh, just, it's, it's a lot of fun. People just have a lot of fun. People from San Antonio, there's a lot of good bands out here. You just got to go out to shows and stuff like, like we, we exist, you know, good bands in San Antonio exist. Even though we're not from San Antonio individually, we all come from different parts of the United States, but um, you know, there's good music, you just gotta look for it. I guess like it's not you, a hobby, you know, yeah. this is life. I mean, this is what we fuck. If we take it serious, like, if you take it serious, you gotta put up money, you gotta put up time, you gotta sacrifice stuff. It's not only about about money, it's not about like fans or about CDs, it's, at least for me, it's about just being remembered, you know? Like leaving something behind.